Hey, good morning. Um, I am coming to you from St. Louis University, so I got here a few days ago. Um, basically, this is my first day of class, so I figured I'd start here just because that made the most sense to me when we just started my first day. So today I have um, biology lecture in the morning. Uh, next up I have uh, my doctor of physical therapy class, my intro class on South Campus, which is our med campus, and then I have uh, chem lab and then chem lecture. So Monday's my busiest day. I'll be going from 8 a.m. until 4.30 uh, with small breaks in between, hopefully to eat something. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. Um, I'll update you as the day goes. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of my DPT class. Um, but yeah, this is my first day and I'll keep you updated to see how the week goes. Okay, so I just got back from my first two classes. So I went to bio this morning and I went to DPT. Um, DPT is on South Campus, so that's like a 15 minute bus ride. So that was kind of a little bit of a hassle the first time because I didn't really know where to go or what to do, but I figured it out. Um, the DPT class is basically just like a University 101, kind of teaching you what to do in college. So time management, assignments, um, what the, pro the physical therapy program is, uh, stuff like that. Um, we have a peer mentor, so they're gonna be helping us, but I'm, other than that, we haven't, it's not gonna be a ton of PT things, I think. We'll get our handbook and things, so I can go over that once we get it. Um, that'll be in the next couple weeks. They also make it mandatory for us to go to little sessions that they want all the kids to go to, to kind of give us incentive, because they give us basically three points to go. Um, other than that, my day's been going pretty good. I woke up this morning, went and worked out, which was nice. Um, I did have an 8 a.m., so I went at like six to go to the gym, and it was good. Uh, it was a little busy, actually but it did wake me up, um, it got me out of bed, it got me ready for class, and now I'm kind of excited to go through the rest of my day. Um, I do have chem lab next, which I'm a little nervous about, just two hours, and just reading the rules is like, oh God, this is gonna be kind of hard. So I'm gonna look over that again before I go. I know we probably won't do a lab today, but they did say dress for lab, so I have a long sleeve on and pants that cover my ankle and tennis shoes, and I'm gonna put my hair up in a couple minutes, but I, sounds a little difficult so I'm a little nervous for that I'll give you an update on how that's gonna go but I did hear I have the nice professor but she is hard so I don't know I'm Ken's not my favorite so we'll see how that goes other than that my first day is going pretty well but um, I'll update you guys all later hi guys so I just finished my first day of class or not my first my second day of classes um, today I had my intro to arts class and then I had my history class which is I guess modern world history. I thought I was in Stone Age history, but I got changed out of it. <laughs> um, so today was a relatively easier day for me. Um, it's not sciences, and a lot of these courses are just gen eds, which are slightly less work, it seems like. Um, that might change. Uh, let's see. I was late for my fine arts class because I thought it started at 11.15. It didn't. It started at 11, so it was really awkward when I walked in a couple minutes late, and I just thought it was the class before me, so I was like, oh, I don't need to walk in yet. Very, very, very awkward. Um, other than that, I had a pretty good day. I'm starting my um, chemistry notes right now, so we have to print out all of our slides and then take notes, and then do some learning curve questions, as well as homework after the lecture. So I'm kind of taking some pre-notes just so I know what's going on. Um, I'd rather start off strong. Who knows if I'll continue doing these pre-notes, but I want to make sure I know the basics. My chemistry course at St. Louis, they actually put the med students, or not med students, but the students looking into medical school, or not medical school, well, yes, students in medical school, but or in PT, OT, anything like that, they put you in this chemistry, or principles of chemistry that relates to medical science. So I can show you guys, I'll flip through some of my slides um, in a little bit, but basically they relate it all to medical type things, which is really nice. So it's not like I'm just learning chemistry that has no pertinence to what I'm doing. It all relates, which is super nice because that makes it a lot easier for me to learn. So as I'm going through these slides, I'm like, okay, this class might be good. My book relates everything to the human body, which is awesome. Whereas sometimes in chemistry and even physics, I was so confused because I didn't understand how that related. But this helps a lot to be able to see that um, on a sheet of paper. So yeah, I'll update you guys later. But as of right now, my classes are going pretty good. I do have a little bit of work that I gotta do, um, just small stuff but I'm gonna get that going. I'm gonna try to get my chemistry stuff done today and the learning curve questions so that I'm ready for the lecture on Wednesday. Um, even though I know my first learning curve questions aren't due until next week, but I wanna start, I wanna get ahead now so that when I decide to slack off later, or hopefully not, but when I decide, when I just have days that I don't wanna do as much, or um, when we start getting heavier course loads that I'm already ahead so that I can 
kind of do a little bit less later. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but as of right now, it's going well. Um, I'll kind of get a pan of my notes and stuff like that when I finish them. And then you can kind of see how everything's all related. All right, hi. So sorry for lighting, it's a little weird. I'm sitting right in front of my big window. I'm trying something new instead of holding the camera because I'm really shaky. Um, anyway, uh, this is my third day class. So today I had bio at 8 a.m. and then I had bio lab right after. Um, my bio teacher is super, or professor is super, super nice. Um, and my lab instructor is a TA who's a grad student here and she is super, super nice. So I think I'm not worried about bio. Um, and then at 3.10 I have chem. So chem's the one that I'm like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, I did wake up late today, so I didn't have time to really get ready. Um, and I have been working out in the morning, but I didn't have time this morning because I woke up late and I didn't feel very good. So I just kind of slept through everything and went to class on time and now I'm gonna work out. So I'm gonna change. Um, I also decided to sign up for sorority um, I don't know how that's going to be. I have a meeting about it tonight. Uh, it's much more low-key at this school. I probably wouldn't have done it if it was a big state school. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um, I also just went to the club fair, which was super cool. So you get a scoop of ice cream in the beginning of the line. It's kind of down West Pine, which is our main point um, of campus. So basically it's just, our campus is like a T. Uh, it's basically all West Pine and at the edge we have the student center and a couple of lecture halls. It's a pretty small campus. But down West Pine, we got a scoop of ice cream, and then you walk down and you go to the clubs and you get toppings for your ice cream, and then learn about the clubs and sign up. So I should have the papers in front of me. I don't right now, but I was looking at club tennis because I played tennis in high school, and they said it's a really, a really small commitment here. So I was thinking of doing that to stay active. Um, what else? I was looking at a student activities board type thing. Um, they plan the concerts, activities, stuff like that. And then what else? I was looking into a Billikens After Dark program, which is like basically just alternative activities for students during the weekends, uh, which I think is kind of cool. So it's just kind of getting kids out that are maybe a little bit quieter or don't want to go to like, a party or something like that. And I just figured it was a cool thing, and they have like movies at the pool here, so I figured that'd be fun. Um, that was the main reason I looked at it. And then what else? I was looking for the PT Association, but I couldn't find them. So. <laughs> I don't know, but I've, no matter what, I'll be getting emails about that because I'm in the PT program, so I'll update you on that when I know. And then I signed up for a few other things, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, and as I said, I also signed up for recruitment. So I'll keep you guys updated throughout the rest of the week, but overall, my first couple days are going pretty well. I have chem lecture at 310, so I'm gonna go to that. It's currently 11.45, so I have some time. I'm gonna probably go to the gym, eat lunch, and then shower and go to lecture, so. Yeah, I am excited right now. Right, hi, so I'm coming in again from St. Louis University. Um, this was my fourth day class, yeah, it's Thursday. So we actually had one of our, or one of my classes was um, let off, um, so we didn't have class because we had Mass of the Holy Spirit. So I do go to a Jesuit school. So anytime we have like big masses, things like that, um, class is canceled during that time. So my fine arts class was canceled, but I did go to history this morning. And then I had um, IPE, which is like interpersonal relations and within the health field. So it's at our South Campus, which is a little bit of a hike um, if you don't take the bus. And we were gonna miss the bus, so we walked. Uh, it's about a mile, mile and a half. Uh, so we went there, and basically it's a 200 person class, and we all are formed in groups that we can do all group work. It's actually a really cool dynamic, so I'll get more information on that as we go. Uh, but other than that, that's all I had today. So I went to History and IPE, and now I'm back in my dorm room. Um, I got a, I, my dad bought me a Keurig and sent it here, so I just picked that up. Um, yeah, that's basically all that's been going on. I kind of got ahead of my homework yesterday, actually, so I really don't need to do too much tonight. I need to do a bio reading, uh, so I'll probably do that after dinner. I'm trying to get my life situated, so I have a big calendar. Uh, I can put a picture of that when I'm done with it, but big calendar that for the whole month so I'm gonna do September now and write just assignments and big exams stuff like that not everything obviously but just big dates that I should remember other than that that's about it um, okay hi so I didn't get to finish up my week last week because I kind of had a lot of stuff randomly going on um, but I just wanted to give a little update so my first week of classes just finished well not really just finished it is Tuesday the Tuesday after Labor Day um, but my first week of classes went really well. It's kind of overwhelming. 
Um, but yeah, I have all my class my stuff planned out for the rest of the semester. Um, and I, right now, I'm going to work on trying to compile all the videos that I've taken over my first week, get them all together, and get them to Dana, and hopefully we can get some uh, just reflection and things, and she'll have some uh, things to say about her experience in college as well, and maybe reflect back on her first week. So yeah, that is my first little contribution to this, and I hope to see you guys all soon. Hey everybody, it's Dana coming to you from Smith Physical Therapy Balance and Concussion Center. Um, I just got into the clinic a couple minutes ago and I'm waiting for my first patient of the day to get here. So I'm going to make this vlog really quick, but I wanted to say hi to Maddie and say how proud I am of you for making it through your first week of school. I think that it's such an overwhelming and kind of a crazy experience and it's a lot of transition and things to get used to. Um, this is a lot of fun for me. It's bringing back a lot of fun memories. I went to Bradley University and graduated 22 years ago. So I'm going to actually start digging out my transcripts and kind of comparing what classes you're in versus where I was at. I was one of the last classes to go through the physical therapy program with a bachelor's degree. Um, so that's a little bit different than where you're at getting your doctorate. Um, it's pretty cool. And we'll kind of compare and contrast our classes and where you're at with your career right now but I need to get going to treat my patient and I'll hop back on and vlog a little bit more later um, I'm learning also too I think doing this that I need different lighting in my treatment room because it's not good in here so maybe I'll find a better location too I will see all of you guys soon so I wanted to talk about um, some of your experiences that you're having, Maddie. First of all, I have to say that your activity fair sounds pretty amazing and kudos to whoever organized it because getting the ice cream scoop and then toppings along the way really sounded like a fun way to get people to go through the fair and take a look at everything that St. Louis University has to offer. Um, definitely, I think that that was way more creative than the activities fair that I had when I was in school. Um, ours was just in a conference room in the student center. And I remember going there with some of my, with my roommate and some other friends that we had made on the floor of our dorm. Um, yours takes the cake for sure. And it sounds like there are so many cool things to offer at school. So I'm glad that you're taking a look at all of those opportunities and trying to get involved. I think that's a really good way to really feel part of the community at your school and meet new people and, and have a good time while you're down there. I think that's great. Um, I did not join a sorority when I was in college. Um, Greek life at Bradley was a little bit different, it sounds like, than at SLU. So um, it'll be interesting to hear your experience as you go through sorority recruitment. And um, I can share, I did go through Rush for sororities at school and then decided not to pursue it any further. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences and I'll share some of my stories and kind of my decision making along the way. Um, I am super excited to meet your roommates and all the people that you're meeting. Um, I know everyone on here is probably looking forward to meet them too. We, I'll be bringing in and getting on here some people from work and things too, I'm sure. Lots of people have messages for you also while you're away at school. So you guys will be able to meet some of my coworkers and I'll see if I can even get some of my patients that Maddie knows on here um, just to pop in and say hello too. So um, I was also able to dig up my college transcript I was pretty impressed that I was able to find it. Um, and I was also able to find um, some other papers and stuff that I had before I went into school. So we'll take a look at those next time. I have to get ready to go into work today. Um, I have a new experience at work. So this is an important lesson um, that your job keeps changing and throws new things at you even after the, all this time that I've been doing this. Today I have to give a deposition. Um, so there's an attorney coming to the office with a court reporter and they are going to be asking me questions about a patient that I treated, oh, four or five years ago at a different facility. And 
um, there's a lawsuit involved, obviously, with this case, and I don't really even remember the guy. So I've never had to give a deposition before, but I am more than willing to help out and do what I can to assist in the process. Um, so I'm a little nervous about it because I've never had to do this before. I don't really know what to expect. So I'll have to keep you posted on how that goes. But I hope you have a great day. I'll hop back on and vlog a little bit more later. Oh, you know what? I wanted to say while you're down there, and as you're meeting people, I have a younger cousin who is in the DPT program at SLU. I want to say that she's a junior this year. Oh, I could be wrong, but I want to say that she's a junior this year. So I hope that at some point we're able to find her on campus and get her on this video too. I might message her and have her keep her eyes out for you while you're down there. So um, I hope that you're having a good week so far and that your classes are still going really great. It sounds like uh, things are off to a good start for you. I am kind of anxious to get my day going, so I'll check in with everybody later. I wanted to change location a little bit for my final vlog for this week, so I thought I'd bring it outside. Uh, up until a few minutes ago, it was actually quite sunny and pleasant out. Now it's getting cloudy and a little chilly, but hopefully the weather down by you, Maddie, is nice and you're out enjoying the weekend. I was just able to go for a nice walk around the neighborhood, so um, I, I was inspired by your 6 a.m. workouts, though... I'm not going to the gym at six in the morning quite yet. Uh, anyway, I wanted to follow up. I didn't get back on yesterday to talk about how my deposition went. It was an interesting experience. I really don't think that I needed to be nervous for it. It was about a patient that I had seen years ago. And so really the attorneys were asking me questions and I had to rely on the documentation that I had written all those years ago to answer their questions and really just directly reference their their questions with my notes. So I think that's an important point that as you're going through, I think everybody's least favorite thing to do in the PT profession, I don't know, maybe there's someone out there that likes it, but I haven't met him or her yet, is documentation. And it's essential to really write good notes because you don't know how many years from now they're going to come back and, and haunt you and you're going to need to reference them for something that's pretty important. So when you learn how to do documentation and you're a few years away from that, thank goodness, pay attention because it's going to come in handy. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the structure of your curriculum. I didn't know how Bradley's curriculum compared to St. Louis's. I know being a, when I went, it was a four-year program, and so our curriculum was very structured, and we didn't have a lot of extra time to take classes that were interesting to us. So I know before you left, Maddie, you can talk about this a little bit, hopefully. You were waiting to get some AP test results, and I was wondering how that affected the classes that you're taking right now. I know that when I went to school, I had taken a bunch of AP classes in high school, and that afforded me 19 extra credit hours before I even started college, which was nice because with our our structure of our curriculum being so rigid, I was able to take some extra classes and fit them in of things that were just interesting to me. Whereas if I hadn't taken those AP courses, I would have had to stick to essentially just completing uh, the university requirements for graduation. And then obviously all of the requirements for the physical therapy program. Sorry, I have a bug on my arm. Um, also, maybe I'm not gonna do these outside anymore. So I'm curious as to how your your choices for your classes changed since you got your AP test results. I am also a little bit disappointed that you were not taking history of the Ice Age anymore. I wanted to, <laughs> I was excited to hear all about that. Uh, hopefully modern day history is a bit more interesting to you and I want to know what you're covering in there. So this is my final update for this week. I am shooting all of this back to you, Maddie, and I'm looking forward to getting the next group of videos from this upcoming week so that we can get our next our next vlog made. This has been a lot of fun and I look forward to the next one.